Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you receive funds from customers within the Receive Payments window and place those funds into the Undeposited Funds Asset Account, QuickBooks tracks that money until it is actually deposited into the bank. When you're ready to take the payments to the bank, you can record the deposit in QuickBooks and group the various payments you received and placed into the Undeposited Funds Account into a single amount that is shown as being deposited into your selected bank account. This makes the amounts recorded as deposits for the bank account in QuickBooks match the amounts recorded by your bank statements, which makes account reconciliation much easier. Also, when preparing the funds for a deposit in QuickBooks, you can print a deposit slip to bring with you to the bank if needed, and then make the deposit at the bank. When you record the deposit in QuickBooks, it takes the deposited funds and adds it to the selected bank account register. You can also tell QuickBooks to leave out a certain amount for cash back, if needed, that you can record to an account like Petty Cash. To make a deposit in QuickBooks, you can select Banking from the menu bar, and then choose the Make Deposits command. This will most often cause the Payments to Deposit window to appear on screen. In the Payments to Deposit window, you can see all the customer payments you have received through the Receive Payments window and elected to move to the Undeposited Funds account. Use the View Payment Method Type drop-down at the top of this window to select the type of payments to view if needed. You must then check any received amounts you will actually be taking to the bank to deposit. After making your selections, click the OK button to continue to the actual Make Deposits window. In this window, you will see the amounts you just selected shown in a list. Use the Deposit To drop-down to select the name of the bank account into which you would like to deposit the selected funds. Enter the date of the actual deposit into the Date field. If necessary, you can click into the next available blank row within the deposit to record any other miscellaneous amounts to be deposited, such as owner's contributions, for example. If you need to get cash back from the deposit, use the Cash Goes Back To drop-down to select the account used to record cash back, such as petty cash. Then enter the reason why cash was held back by typing that into the cash back memo. Then enter the amount of cash to be held back from the deposit by typing it into the cash back amount field. To print a deposit slip or deposit summary to take with you to the bank, click the drop down arrow that appears to the right of the print button within the toolbar at the top of the window and then choose either deposit slip or Deposit Summary from the drop-down menu that appears. Y you can then print the selected form within the Print dialog box that appears. When you're ready to record the deposit, simply click the Save and Close button to save the transaction and close the Make Deposits window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp dot com forward slash free.